Hey, it's Amanda from the DevRel team at Vonage. Ready to learn to send WhatsApp messages with Node? Open up your IDE or text editor and let's learn to send WhatsApp messages using the Vonage Messages API, WhatsApp Sandbox, and the Vonage Server SDK in a few minutes. We'll need a few items installed, the Vonage CLI and a few dependencies, .env, Express, the Vonage Server SDK, and Vonage Messages. Let's initialize a Vonage client. It will need a Vonage API key and a Vonage API secret. Those can be found on the dashboard's homepage. We'll also need an application. From the dashboard, we'll click to create a new one and give it a name. Once we click to generate a new application, we can see its ID. To authenticate, we'll click to generate a new public and private key, which downloads a private key file to your machine. Make sure your private key path is set correctly to that file. We are setting the API host to use the Messages API WhatsApp Sandbox, a testing environment. You can also send WhatsApp messages in production. You can learn more in our developer documentation. In the Vonage application, you're creating head under Capabilities, toggle Messages to use the Messages API. It expects two fields, inbound and status. We'll run an ngrok instance. Copy the forwarding URL from the terminal. Paste it to inbound and append slash inbound at the end. We'll do the same for status, appending slash status at the end. We'll use version 1 of the Messages API. Click to generate the application. Now let's set up the sandbox. Head to Developer Tools under Troubleshoot and Learn in the menu on the left and click on Messages Sandbox. Set up your WhatsApp sandbox by adding phone numbers for testing and right under it do the same you did in the Messages webhooks for the sandbox webhooks adding the ngrok forwarding URL and respectively adding inbound and status to the correct fields. We need to ensure that the incoming message is from Vonage. This code extracts the JWT token from the request and then verifies its signature using a secret key. If the signature doesn't match, an exception is thrown to prevent further processing. If it's valid, it confirms that the message is from Vonage. Write down the inbound endpoint code. Once a message is sent from the phone you set up and it's received by the Vonage sandbox, it will log that the message has been received and send a message back to that number. From the terminal, run node the name of the server JavaScript file. The server listens on port 8000. OK, it's time to test it. Send a message to the Vonage sandbox from your phone, which will then send back a message stating message received. You've learned how to send a message using the Vonage WhatsApp sandbox, and you can go anywhere from here. Create automated, rich conversations for your projects and businesses. Join our Vonage Slack developer community, and we're also on X. We'd love to hear from you.